The question of troop withdrawal from Iraq has split both people and politicians. Today's report from General Petraeus is not likely to end that emotional debate either. Mike Gilliam now begins our team coverage. Mike. Okay, Harry, that's right. And much of the debate on whether to engage in a rapid withdrawal of troops or to take more time breaks down along party lines. Still in a packed hearing room, the general said some of the words both sides wanted to hear. The United States will be in a position to reduce its forces in Iraq in the months ahead. The U.S. commander in Iraq says he can see pulling some of the 30,000 troops that surged into the country out, but not all of them right now. On the streets of the city tonight, mixed reaction. I would have to agree with it because I don't want anyone else harmed in, or hurt in the meantime, not really harmed, but hurt in the meantime by not having enough our forces there to protect each other. I think General Petraeus is just another uh, answer to President Bush's nonsense. So I want them home. In his most recent poll, Scott Rasmussen asked if the U.S. should withdraw all combat troops immediately, bring them home within a year, or stay until the mission is completed. Most said bring the troops home within a year. You know, the country is divided and people are going to, and many people want the troops home sooner rather than later. In this political environment that we have today, Democrats are the ones who will be calling for troops to come home sooner. Petraea says the troop surge is working with fewer incidents of violence, but his testimony comes on a day when the military is reporting nine more soldiers killed, seven in a vehicle accident. So far, 3,771 have died. And on the eve of the anniversary of the terror attacks, a majority of Americans say they think America is worse off than it was before 9-11. I definitely agree with that. We're definitely worse off. Why? Uh, it's just so much less stability in the country. Over the years on that same question, it is the highest number we've ever received. And that number was 59% of Americans. Now, people say the country was united after the attacks, but that there's a deep feeling now that something horrible happened then and that too much attention has been paid to the war in Iraq, while many important domestic issues have been pushed aside. Mike Gilliam, Minot.